So this rubber band method is the easiest way I have ever installed braids. And they look really, really neat. Look at. And they're super long. Well, they come up to my bum. But they are really neat and really nice. So I'm going to show you exactly how I got them. So I'm going to quickly show you my setup. I am using regular elastic bands or rubber bands. But I dip them in a little bit of black castor oil. I just feel as if it won't grip onto the hair as tightly if it has a little slip on it. So I have the castor oil and I just sit them in here until I'm ready to use them. I'm also putting some moisturizer on my hair. So at the moment, this is what I'm using to moisturize my hair. I'm also using this shea butter and inside I put a little um, of the castor oil in here too. So when I go and dip my finger in here, I'm reaching for some of the castor oil and some of the shea butter. So I'm going to show you right here exactly how I do this. So um, the next part I'm going to make is right here. And then we use something to get out this out of the way. I'm also going to move this out of the way. Just like so easy enough. And now um, focusing on the section that you're going to be making a plait out of. You get your detangling device, whether it be a brush, a comb, your fingers. You just lightly detangle the section that you're going to put in the flat or the braid. And then we go and get our elastic band or rubber band. I'm going to be calling it elastic band a lot because I'm not going to remember to say rubber band because that's more of an American thing. So elastic band, rubber band, same thing. So I'm going to get my band and you gather the section and you band it up you don't have to do it too tight i would advise you not do it too tight actually so i'm just going to go pass it through a few times i don't know how many times that was but there And now you're ready for some moisture. So I get a little bit of the moisturizer that I'm putting on each section. Just put a little bit on the whole section. Concentrating a lot on the ends. I am putting these braids in as a protective style. So that's why I am making sure they are fully moisturized before I add the braids to them. And then in that same section, remember I have the um, black castor oil and the African shea butter. So I get a little oil and shea butter together. Ew, we have hair in there. Um, rub them on your fingers and just Again, making sure the ends are fully coated so this is ready for me to put the braid on but this hair is not ready yet so um, there's two ways you can feather you can either feather this whole bundle which you can feather this whole bundle or you can do what I've been doing which is taking a little part that you are going to flat into your head so I take about this much and I've been measuring it by using my thumb. So it's loosely the width of my thumb. Like I said, loosely. And then how you can feather, there's two ways that I am feathering this. I first start by trying to gather some length first. So I split this into two. And then I stagger them back together so we're in the middle with both of these i'm going to hit this about here so it's already staggered a bit 
and then I'm going to do it again so I kind of mix it together and then so you don't have those two blunt then mix it together and then you split it again and then you stagger it again so you have some length in there right but if you look very carefully it's a little blocky so you see you have blocked sections here and well mostly there and there so you see where the block sections are you're just going to pull up at individual flats only on one side so you're going to hold it right here and then you're just going to pull at the blocky the blockiest section that you find just pull that strands until they don't look as blocky and then as you are doing this you're going to hold the top and use your fingers and rake the other side so it's all it's straightening in that side and if you want you can alternate so you see I pulled that side so if I find any more blocky sections on this side I'll just go ahead and pull on this side too to feather this down a bit more blocks here and then I rake the other side so you have the length and it goes all the way down into a point that's what you're going for now the amount of hair I'm using like I said it's about the same width of my thumb and it's also about the same width as this piece that I'm about to braid this hair onto so to braid all you are doing is get in the middle of the hair and you see the elastic band here you're gonna straddle this hair over the elastic band like so so you have the braiding here here and here and then your hair in the middle and at this point I would hope you're doing this style if you already know how to plait if you don't learn to plait and then you come back to do this so all you're doing is just Platting this section down try to keep it even up until you get to a point where you're running out of your own hair so I'm going to keep going down until I get to let's say about here so the part in the middle is a lot thinner now than how we started up here so that's when I get a little bit of hair from this side just a little bit and I plait a bit more before I start to borrow from the other side so I a little bit and then I'm going to get a little bit from this flat this leg right here and continue to flat now I'm about to run out of my hair here so what I do is get a little bit more of the African shea butter and I just rub it on the hair and tuck it in as I'm braiding it all the way past the point of my hair as you are plaiting because the hair is so long make sure you are raking all the way down so you don't get any knots towards the bottom because once that happens it makes Platting up here a lot more difficult. Each time you plait it, like three to four swoops, you just rake your hands all the way through, rake your fingers through, just to make sure it doesn't knot. This part is a bit tedious, um, especially when you've gone on for a few hours doing this. I'm, I'm honestly going to say right now, I don't remember when I sighed. I didn't look at the clock and I did 
I started last night and I platted for a little while. Then I went to bed and woke up. I've been, just been taking my time, stopping and going throughout the day. So um, I would guess maybe this doesn't, it won't really take you much longer than like four hours or so. I'm not sure. I know it's a lot quicker because the braids are a lot bigger than usual and the elastic bands at the top make it a lot easier to grip the hair. So you won't really spend much time doing that. I will try this again and I'm going to pay attention to how long I do take to do this style. Um, it's taken a lot quicker than I expected because to me, looking at the length of this, I would say it would take really, really long to do and it doesn't really feel like it. All right, so now I plait it all the way to the end. You go as far down as you can plait and then you're going to dip this in some hot water to seal it. I also had a pack of blue hair left over that I wanted to use, some ombre blue, which was um, this hair right here, this um, Queen Bee brand. And it was already pre-stretched, pre-pulled, pre-extended, pre-feathered. They all pretty much mean the same thing. I don't know why they listed it so many times, but. So um, I used some of this in a few of the flats, mostly towards the top that's when I decided I wanted to add some color to it so um, I have a few of them sprinkled through and I'm really loving this right now all right let me show you one more time how to do this and then you're gonna see the end result again